Kukor naga shlem jo unong san hima. Ka 91.1 Mirchi, gawain na radio station, bapaw naam jo gari India galaraki, aga jingdap saus naam jo ka nadu bagalawan yu kajad apo shalong. Nadu kapasdang haus naam arjar khat nyaw kate radio station, kalawan ra ishibun gijing penbernya, but kum juru yagi kubon naga benta gipay ba jong ka shalong. Ha ka jing rakhi, aga jingdap saus naam umintri ka sorkar jilla, ujim sang maa ulalit jingo, aga 91.1 Mirchi, bot ula krenru kum u RJ Jami. Radan ru ka jay thuk kana lingkot ha pleng jong u, bot u RJ Niki J, ha ka ba ula kren japang ka jing yait linti jong u, ha ka jing im, Buat ulah kenturu iki samla begini mi sekamat penyesian bentah kesan bertai. Hello everybody. Welcome to Mirchi 91.1, it's hot. In case you guys are wondering, where is mad boy Nikki J? Well, he's taking a break. And I'm in his hot seat. This is RJ Jamie. I'm going to be here with you today. And uh, in case you guys are wondering, who is RJ Jamie? Well, we'll get to that. In the meantime, let me share a thought with you. We get so many challenges in life things get thrown at you and it's important to remember that we need to take a chill pill once in a while and that's why I want to dedicate this song to all of you who feel this way today that there is this great challenge in life that we need to take a chill pill and uh, this is a song a track by Eagles and this is Take It Easy. It's one of my favorite. And uh, I want you to listen to it in the meantime. And um, I'll be right back. This is Mirchi 91.1. It's hot. ta da ta da ta da Welcome back. Good evening. Once again, yeah, you're tuning in to 91.1 Mirchi. It's hot with Mad Boy and AJ on the hot seat. And alongside with me, I've got RJ Jamie. That's AKA James Sandler here with me. Yep, yeah, well, it is such an honor and privilege to have him here. The Honorable Cabinet Minister of the Government of Meghalaya, and of course, he holds the portfolio of uh, heading the DIPR, that's the power, the Forest Department, and also taxation as well. And in the midst of his busy schedule, he just made time out to come and wish us a happy anniversary. And wow, what a feeling it is at this point in time. I'm so elated to be actually standing next to you and joining in here in the studio, chit-chatting. Yeah, so are you having fun so far? I definitely am. And um, I wanted your very honest opinion. How was I? Oh, you were super fantabulously fantastic, deliciously awesome. Now try that. <laughs> You've been kind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we are getting to know James Sangma. And um, well, uh, how about we get to know more about you and your family as well, you know? Um, tell us a little bit about your family. Uh, yeah, I have family with um, three kids. Mm-hmm. And uh, my wife used to work as a lecturer, mm-hmm. but she's... Uh, Taken retirement now, mm-hmm. and um, my son's uh, one is 20 years old, mm-hmm. he's in college now. My youngest son is 18, mm-hmm. and uh, my youngest is my daughter who is 12. Wow, sweet family, I say. So, how does um, James juggle between work, family? How does he do that? Oh, um, I, I ensure that I do take out time for my family. That's something I learned from my late father. I mean, he being such a busy man, uh-huh. um, we spent our childhood spending these very, very um, together moments, family moments. Uh-huh. And that's the memory that we always cherish and we retain. Uh-huh. And that's what I want to do with my kids, that they have quality time with me rather than quantity time. So whatever time I give them, that's uh, the quality time. So really sweet and now I mean that's something that uh, it should be a message to all the men out there as a matter of fact you know to all the fathers out there you know this is definitely a very tough position you are in where you're juggling in work and family at the same time but I love the part where you're saying that quality time is what one needs to spend with the family. All right well you did mention about Papa I mean made Purno a Sangma and um, we as a state and the nation as a whole 
you know, adore him. Uh, we would say that there are very few leaders from Northeast India that we would look up to. One such great son of the soil from the state of Meghalaya is none other than Nikpono Sama. So, how much of an influence he has been for you in uh, your life and also, uh, you know, in your step towards uh, becoming a politician? One of the most important uh, lessons we've learned from him is to um, always maintain the kind of uh, humility uh, that he always, always showed. So I think that um, that is uh, something that, uh, you know, be it me, be it Conrad or be it Agatha, we always try to be as humble as possible, uh, knowing that humility is one of the greatest uh, assets a person can have mm -hmm. um, as a human being as well. Um, so that is something that we try to uh, imbibe in our day-to-day -day lives. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, definitely when it comes to Lake Puno Yasama, um, it's all about that beautiful smile. I mean, <laughs> we still remember him, you know, sitting in that uh, very important seat in the parliament, you know, amidst so many political leaders out there and he would still, uh, amidst the chaos, he would still have the beautiful smile, you know, and handle the situation just like that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, indeed. Um, well, talking about um, you personally, um, what is it that uh, James Sangma loves to do uh, during leisure time? Do you, do you listen to music? I love to read. Uh -huh. And um, I'm a, I think, uh, a voracious reader. Uh -huh. uh, but yes, of course, I love to listen to music and uh -huh. movies uh, since I come from the uh, creative art field. Uh -huh. So I love movies. I love, um, you know, all sorts of movies, uh -huh. uh, including animation for that matter. So maybe there's someone out there who's connecting with you because you love reading. What would you suggest? Uh, you know, what is that latest book that you have read that maybe someone would like to grab a copy of it? Uh, I just, I was just going through Bertel Lindner's book, uh, The Great Game East, uh -huh. but that's uh, that's about a lot of history. Uh -huh. And um, yes, I did, I read a lot of autobiographies. I read fiction. Uh -huh. I love fiction for that matter. Uh -huh. But um, anything in particular? Um, hmm. Bertel Lindner is very good, but uh, apart from that, um, I. I Sorry, I can't think of any book right now, okay. but uh, that's what I'm reading right now. <laughs> All right, so on that note, we are moving on uh, to more songs. Yeah, that's coming right up. Still in chat -ch with RJ Jamie, aka Jim Sama here, and uh, what an honor it is to be getting to know the other side of uh, this young man and um, also this Leah that we have from our state, and also to be able to um, share the lighter note of life because sometimes we just get too much entangled into too many overburdening stuff in life and yet forget about that there's much more to life than just being caught up with all the mess. Right. right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you for taking time out and being here with us. Right, on that note, let's go ahead and enjoy another song and I'll be right back only on 91.1 Mirchi. It's hot. Hey, 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 welcome back here to the to 91.1 Mirchi. It's hot with Matt Bon AJ on the hot seat. And who do I have here with me? Well, it's none other than RJ Jamie. AKA James Sangma. Yes, the Honorable Cabinet Minister of the Government of Meghalaya. Well, who holds the portfolio of the DIPR Department and, of course, the Power Department, the Forest Department, and the Taxation Department as well. Well, you are a multitasker, I say. Thank you so much. And as a matter of fact, you are doing pretty well as a radio jockey, too. That's a great compliment coming from you, none other than you. <laughs> and I absolutely would say that uh, we'd like to have you come over to our office as a radio jockey and uh, take, take a break sometimes from your political affairs. I, I think it's going to be a great stress buster. I should. I should take up on that. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, time is wrapping up. Uh, it's time for us uh, to bid goodbye. But before we do just that, how about uh, you send across your message to all the listeners out there? What would you like to say? Um, I think that um, this is a message um, for everyone in general, but especially the youth. Mm -hmm. That there is this um, uh, this idea that politics is a very dirty game, mm -hmm. and uh, that results in a lot of good people staying away from politics. Yeah. And uh, I would like to say this, especially to the youth out there, that um, we need good people, we mm -hmm. need qualified people to come and take part in this process called mm -hmm. politics. And um, it is only through politics that it's a wonderful tool to bring about change, to uh, do something good. And uh, we need good people to come into uh, politics that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, indeed, if you're looking for change, 
in our system or in the governance is only with people's participation and the young people there, dining people who have a vision in their minds. They can only be able to implement or be uh, able to achieve all of those or send across the message to the, uh, to the rest of the political members or the people who are involved with the political affairs is by being part of the system. And that is, again, making one accountable to the electorates and also as a uh, responsible representative of the people. Right, so on that note, before we wrap uh, things up here, how about uh, if you have a message that you want to send across to your loved ones out there, you know, what would you, or who would you like to um, dedicate or send across a message? Could I dedicate a song? Yeah, absolutely, you okay. can. Lovely, I've always wanted to do this and I would like to dedicate this song to my one and only love, my wife. Uh -huh. And uh, this is a song by Keith Urban, uh -huh. Memories of Us. How about you do that as a as RJ Jamie? How oh. about you do that? Yeah. Okay, um, this is RJ Jamie and I want to dedicate this song to my one and only love, my wife. And this is a song by Keith Urban, Memories of Us. Listen in, folks. Uh, this is 91.1 Radio Mechi. It's hot. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, super fantastic, fantastic, ridiculously awesome way to sign out, I guess. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, so really thankful to you for sparing your time and um, coming and joining us here in the studio. And, uh, well, what an honor it is once again to have you here with us. It's my pleasure. Okay, thank you so much for having me on your show. Well, wishing you and your family all the very best and Godspeed. Thank you. Right, on that note, well, it's a wrap here in the Chit Chat with none other than James Selma, AKA RJ Jamie. I'm sure you're all gonna remember RJ Jamie now, big time. Well, any requests for him to come back to the studio, please do send me a message on my Facebook page and my Instagram handle, all right? <laughs> well, for now, let's go ahead and enjoy the next track and I'll be right back with you guys on 91.1 Richie. It's hot. <laughs> 